look at this you guys so i'm on my way to my photo shoot and look how bad the traffic is you guys like i've been inching like this and i have gotten nowhere i don't know why my um direction thing whatever this shit is called the maps told me to get on this fucking freeway but this shit is unbelievably like ridiculous like oh my gosh so i'm about to try to get off this thing i see melrose right here i'm about to try to get off on melrose for real for real i need to get over I'm gonna do the quick little video. Oh, is there anybody else coming up? No, it's just oh. us. If you um, if you walk out, the door does close behind you. So just make sure at least once the person stays in. Okay. You walk out. Also, there's a restroom and payment area in here too. Oh, perfect. Right on the other side. Yeah. Okay, so they want us to take video of everything. So annoying. So fucking annoying. Never booking this shit again. But I never book anything twice anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> this is $60 extra just to sit in it. But he said he was going to put it away. He didn't put it away. So, you guys, this is behind the scenes. I just wanted to show you guys my outfit real quick, what I got going on. So, I got on these, like, chrome glasses. I got on this pearl choker, this leather and denim jacket. And then I have this, like, cute bralette underneath with some leather shorts. You see the boots? sneaker boots i don't even know what these are called but yeah a little go yard purse but this is the vibe this is the fit and then we're gonna shoot this look right here we just cleared everything away so we can just take some cute pics right here so that's the vibe right now it's just not really lit up right here um, Can I see I think that'll be better for Dane. You know, we can turn the battery. Well, maybe we can plug it up. Yeah, I was just about to say, let's plug them up real quick. See if we can plug it up. At least for like 20 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think these are going to set my makeup on right now. I ain't got nowhere to fix it. You got the charger in here? I haven't touched it since you have brought it back to me. Is it in there though? I don't think it is. It's a little box. Mm -hmm. Probably at the house then. But you could, uh, could, oh, they don't, it don't work even if you put them in, huh? And plug it in, huh? Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, we'll be fine here. I don't know if you know why. Yeah. Find the plug. Boom, boom, boom. I think it's one over there. Yeah, it's one over there. Over there. Should be. This is behind the scenes of my photo shoot. So I'm doing two looks today. I'm doing a Christmas look. Look at my nails though, you guys. Got the chrome nails on them, nigga. But yeah, so I'm doing a Christmas look and then I'm doing this like regular like everyday like streetwear look. I'm gonna post them obviously at like different times. But yeah, I just wanted to make the, make the most out of my time. You know what I'm saying? Get my money's worth, if you will. I don't want you to sit down though. I want you to no, sit down. No, I'm just showing you the light. Okay. It's, it's kind of the same. Oh, no, this, this is before. Oh, it's a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. You can see but, but stand up though, because I don't no, like I that you. angle. No, I don't either.
y'all so we finna get a couple more flicks in because we can i love my outfit today that's why i wore this so i'm actually wear this out and about i gotta go run some errands after this y'all <laughs> okay you guys so just finished with my photo shoot so look at my nails though y'all see the details the nails match the glasses so anyway i parked in this parking structure without actually checking in with anyone and the guy is there now so let's see how this goes because you're supposed to pay before you get in here but i did not i just brought my black ass in here because nobody was standing right there i'm like what the hell what am i to do there's no one here so i'm gonna just drive past this nigga though let's see how that works out we can fuck up tonight I sure did park in here for free and it was ten dollars. <laughs> I always do that. Wherever I go, I just get free parking. Anytime I'm downtown, I always get free parking. 
Oh. Now I gotta figure out how the fuck to get home. I gotta send him this money too, y'all. I gotta, I gotta send my photographer his money. And I'm gonna do that once I get to the house. I'm hungry as fuck. I don't even know what I'm gonna eat. Like, what am I gonna eat, girl? I ain't never asked to be the shit, girl. Why my photographer, he asked me, he was like, are you trying to be a rapper or something? I was like, a rapper? Why? I'm like, do I look famous? Because a lot of people be telling me that. Like, I remember one time I had one on the Monkey app. I don't know if you guys... Oh, damn, let me get right back over. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Monkey app. I know that sounds crazy. But there was this app where basically you can just, like... It's kind of like Omegly and all that stuff. You know, like, we could just randomly... Oh, my God, you guys should see this building. This shit is burnt the fuck down. Ah! Oh, no, I can't show y'all right now. I'm driving, sorry. But dang, this building is burnt down. Oh, my goodness. So anyway, but yeah, it's like a little app or whatever where you pretty much like FaceTime with random people and it's like 10 seconds, sometimes three seconds, whatever. Um, sometimes you can skip people and it'll just close them out completely. Is that him? It sure is. And you can just close it out. Oops, I missed you. And you can just close it out completely. I feel like falling in love and a lot of people on that app every time they would see my face they'd be like oh are you a rapper are you famous like what do you do i'm like i get that a lot though people be like well, so what do you do i'm like i don't know i'm a bad bitch that's a hard motherfucking thing to do people always be like well what do you do you don't have a talent i'm a bad bitch and that's a hard motherfucking thing to do okay call sister said that are we still calling her that or we just call her ari right now i need to go home and walk Bo, and then after i finish walking Bo, we're gonna go to zara um because i need to go to zara to go return this skirt that i bought it was this really really cute skirt it's like really popular a lot of girls are wearing it on tiktok or whatever it's like one of those pleated denim skirts but the problem with it you guys is the fact that it it like shows too much of my butt you know, like, and I'm not comfortable with that. I know a lot of girls are just okay with being free and just, you know, exposing their bodies. But for me personally, I don't really like to look, I don't really, I don't feel comfortable like that. I don't feel comfortable walking around and my whole ass is out at, you know what I'm saying? And I, uh, uh that's just not for me. Maybe for, oh, you guys should see this dog behind me. It's so cute. He just sitting in the seat like somebody's driving or whatever you know how you have your dog in the car with you but it's like a bigger dog but it's like sitting in the seat like a normal person would and it was just like looking straight forward like the head isn't like out the window or nothing like he just looked like a regular passenger <laughs> so cute what a cutie but yeah we got some really really good shots i don't really know if i like the christmas pictures that much but i really like the pictures in this outfit and then we're also going to do another shoot tomorrow tomorrow night uh, with another look and I'm changing my hair tomorrow night I'm gonna be wearing red hair and well it's not really even gonna be at night maybe like in the evening cuz it gets super fucking cold you guys like oh my gosh even right now it's like pretty cold like it's cold in the shade it's like one of those days you know how like if you're in the Sun it's like it's warm but like in the shade it's like freezing freaking cold should I go up this street or the other street? But yeah, I love working with my photographer though, you guys. We always get like the best shots. Like, you know, and I know some people like when they have a photographer, like they work with like multiple people. But for me, like when I find a good thing, I'm just gonna stick with it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's working out. I like the pictures every time. You know, he's always on time. If anything, he's early and I get my pictures quick. I don't have to wait a long time for my pictures, you know? Cause some people will be like, oh, there's like a three day wait for your pictures. I'm like, damn, three days, girl. And then they have all these weird rules where it's like, you can only, uh, damn, this goddamn I'm taking the streets back home, y'all. I had caught myself getting on the freeway, thinking it was gonna be fast trying to get here just to take the freeway real quick downtown. That was the worst decision I could have made, girl. That freeway was disgusting. Well, technically, it wasn't my decision. It was my uh, my maps decision, my Apple Maps, whatever. I really, really hope you guys like these pictures, and I hope you guys like these kind of vlogs. I've just been wanting to do more vlogs of like behind the scenes of 
just different shit that I'm doing, things that I'm working on. Honestly, you guys, like, I'm just really, really proud. I need to do, like, a sit-down video because I really just need to talk about my growth. I need to talk about just, like, all the different things that I've, I've just been up to. I'm going down a hill right now. <laughs> I'm a big ass kid. Y'all gotta excuse me. Oh, I'm so hungry. What am I gonna eat? Maybe I can just get something to eat at the mall. There's some stuff over there, but I don't know. Red dot, red dot, red dot, red dot, red dot on his nose like Rudolph. Pull it to the scene all white with the roof off. Take that little bitch to the roof. Chris, fuck up that fucker. Her sister, I'm roof. Yes, chill on the six when I'm fucking on Pucci. That bitch was ugly, but pussy on smoothie. Play with that kitty like hello. Take a step back, then I bust it up, bust it up, bust it like hello. Aiming at you and your fellows. My new bitch, hello. She blow that dick like a cello. Fuck it, then send that bitch home on the metro. Ooh, your nigga fall like a pigeon. Bitch, I be friends, they be hot in my vision. Make sure all my niggas need that submission. No more wishing, I'ma go get it, go get it. I got it. Play with that pussy like pick up Bitch, you see all this money Make that little bitch take a brick to a stomach You not the gang, we don't kick it up, honey Jip out the rape and I rap the Titanic Look at the numbers, mechanics ain't funny I came from the lip with this jail, I got punished Ooh, pulling no fun for the truth Wow, my niggas turn back with cool I came from trapping I used to have a dope stash in the cabinet Mama couldn't tell me shit, what was my daddy? Look at my paddock, I'm flexing, on petty I put the pussy the first time I met it Won't give you no credit, you edit spaghetti I cut the brick, cut the brick with machetes Married the money, the bitch wasn't ready uh, uh. Play with that pussy like pick up 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 uh. Play with that money like pick up uh. Play with these bitches like pick up uh. Both that bitch ass nigga, I'm not gonna play with you. That's what these rappers do. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, bitch. Pick up, 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 pick up. Oh, 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 oh,
stop until we drop right there in the floor. Y'all want me, all I do is ride around with me. Cool. No need, you got me flying out of my shoes. All we do is drop yeah. until we drop. All we do is drop until yeah. we drop right there in the floor. Yeah. Tell me about a sad scene, look. It was about five minutes ago. When I seen a hottest chick that a young and never seen before. I say, yo, tell the girls I wanna meet her. On second pop, that ain't the way to go. I gotta give a game proper. Spit it so she get it, but she is, I gotta stop her. Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a style? I'm out of time. She's out the door, I gotta go for mine. Look, I'll see you. Oh, yeah. Tell me about a sexy the situation you know what i'm saying so i just kind of just been letting it slide but i'm gonna just put it in perspective for y'all i spent over a thousand dollars on product that i never received because i didn't receive said product i had to contact my vendor order more product spend another thousand but the second time because i i let my vendor know what was going on that i couldn't find my package and all this stuff they let me know that they can give me a discount so they, I bought more product, but at a discounted rate. So that was cool. But I was still upset that I didn't have the other product and I didn't have the money from the other product that I lost. So I'm barely seeing him right now and I see him this morning and I see um, a notice in my mailbox to pay rent. Um, Cause you do have to pay rent for your mailbox, right? So I, um, I see the owner and I'm like, look, I see this in my box. He went and he got all my packages for me. He came back and he was like, um, I, I showed him the paper. I'm like, what are we going to do about this? Because I'm not paying for this rent. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all owe me $1,000. What happened? I just told him, I'm like, what happened? I'm like, I've been emailing you. You ain't been responding. I'm like, can, can I get some kind of dis, some kind of discount? Can you work with me? Um, he was like, yeah, well, it was additional information that I needed from you to file the claim. Which was total bullshit because he had told me about the, all the information I needed to give him. And I emailed all the information to him, right? And he said, okay, I'm going to contact FedEx and we're going to try to get this solved because they have insurance, right? That was total bullshit. He never contacted FedEx. I think he completely just forgot about it. Long story short, 
we came to a resolution and he's gonna give me a year free service because I told him I'm like that situation happened in July so even if we contacted FedEx right now trying to file a claim on the package I don't even think they would honor it because too much time has passed and he looked at me and he's like well yeah I guess you're right about that so oh he look good I do not need to be looking at no niggas let me uh, keep driving <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm looking, I'm trying to get a, another peek at him. So we came to a resolution though, you guys, and I'm getting a year free service. So I'm really happy about that because that's one less expense that I have to worry about every month. And um, it's not expensive, you know, to pay for a PO box or whatever, but um, it is another bill every month. And if I can save money on that, that is like a game changer because I need a P.O. box. I use it all the time. So right now, he went into the computers and he did his little thing. So I don't have to pay for um, the mailbox service for a, an entire year. So I'm really happy about that. Even though it was like kind of like, uh, and I still kind of want my money back for it, I will accept a year service for free. So I'm cool with that. But he was telling me, he was like, don't be getting at me like that in front of my customers. I turned around, it's two goddamn people in there. It's the old lady and the old man staring at me. And I wasn't even like getting crazy with him, but I just, you know, I was definitely putting it out there that they lost the package of mine and I, I had to spend all this money on more product and stuff. So they heard that. So I guess he didn't want them to think like, you know, they got bad service or something. But I'm like, shit, let's keep it fucking real. Let's keep it a buck, you know? But anyway um right now i'm on my way home i have a party to go to tonight it's one of my friend's birthdays they're in town so I, i'm going to this little mansion party if you will in hollywood so i don't know maybe i'll sneak in some video of that <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna record that shit because this is gonna get wild it's a guy's birthday too and uh y'all already know how men are he probably gonna have strippers there and all kind of stuff girl i don't know but I'm going to support and show my face. I'm not staying long, and I told him that. I'm like, look, I'm not staying long, but it is your birthday, so I'll come through and just say, you know, what's up? He like, yeah, just come, t take a shot with me, take a shot with me. I'm like, I don't even drink, you know? But I mean, it's his birthday, I might take a shot tonight. But I can't really drink alcohol. I've, I think I've explained this before. If I do drink alcohol, it has to kind of be watered down. It can't be just like a pure shot of tequila. Like when I do drink, I drink like the little Cosmopolitans. You know what I'm talking about? That has like a, a little bit of alcohol percentage in it. I'll drink like some plum wine. Some Japanese plum wine is really good. Um, any kind of wine, I'll drink it because it's just a percentage of alcohol. It's not just pure alcohol. And even with that, I got to be and I was funny when I was telling him about that. He was like, what? Why you can't drink? He's like, tell me what's going on. You're not going to die on me, are you? Is everything okay? I'm like, oh my God. Just because I said I can't drink. Boy, shut the hell up. Crazy ass. But anyway, yeah, so I got to go to that party tonight. But before I do that, I got to film some videos today so I can make some money. I just picked up some packages, so I'm happy about that. I got to email all these companies, let them know that I got the packages, and log them in. I do actually log all my packages in. Like, I put who it came from, all that stuff, just to keep track of everything. Because I receive a lot of hair, like, all the time. Like, I'm getting new hair almost every day. So, I can easily have 30 packages on me at, at a time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be having bags of that shit. And companies be mad at me. They be like, dear, when are you going to do the video, dear? It's been a while, dear. Hey, dear, where's the video? <laughs> Why do they call us dear? They always say, hi, dear. Hello, dear. Thank you, dear. Bitch, do I look like Bambi to you? <laughs> the fuck? That's pretty much the vibe, though. I had to give y'all that quick little update on that package, though, because I'm like, girl, I've been waiting. Like, I'm surprised that I've even been this patient about it. But I was trying to be patient because, for me, I know how I can get, and I don't have, like, a medium ground. You know what I'm saying? Either I'm at a honey or I'm at a zero. You don't want me to go off on you because... I, even with my words and even when I was talking to him right now I wasn't even going in on him like I could have right now I was just telling him what the fuck it was you know what I'm saying it just be the tone in my voice 
I'm very like stern and very, you know what I mean? My words alone will hurt you, you know? And I know that about myself. You ever been like, you ever been afraid of you? You know what I mean? So you have to keep you calm because you know if you go off, you're gonna fucking, you're gonna regret it later. Like, damn, I shouldn't have went off on such and such like that. I shouldn't have got at him like that. He didn't deserve that or she didn't deserve that. Because, I, okay, I'm the coolest motherfucker until you fuck with me. That's why I be by myself, okay? Y'all see me all the time, I'm by my motherfucking self. Because a lot of people, and I, I gotta talk about this, I'm probably gonna do like a little chit-chat video to really, really get into it. I've been done dirty, disrespected, talked about, you know what I'm saying? By people that I would never do that to. If I'm not feeling you, I let it be known. I'm not the type of bitch that don't like a bitch but still want to kick it around her because I done seen like, it's like when you live your life and people just do you so dirty for so long, you just get tired of the bullshit and it just becomes the point to where you're just like, am I keeping the people around just to say I have people around? Or am I keeping them around because I feel like this is a solid person and I fuck with them? You know what I mean? But it's like a lot of people can be cool and then later on in life they switch up on you. They start acting like this. Now, all of us, especially when you get in a position, let me tell you this. You become successful or you get any type of success in your life. Say you get a new car. I remember, I'm going to tell you a perfect example. I remember when I first got this car that I'm driving in right now. I had a boyfriend at the time and... um you know he just he was one of those hood niggas i just buy little buckets you know what i'm saying you just buy a little bucket real quick just to get around whatever me i'm the kind of person that i want the better things in life and i'm gonna go get it i'm not one of them people that think like something is out of reach for me ain't shit on this earth out of reach for me i can literally have anything and i have proven that i can get anything i want i can buy anything i want i don't feel like i'm anything is out of my league okay so when I got this car, I'm excited about it. And of course, when you're excited about an accomplishment, you want to share it with the people that you love so y'all can celebrate together, you know? So the first thing I do is I pull up on my boyfriend at work, right? I pulled up on him to show him my new car or whatever. He, we get in, it's his lunch break. So he get in the car and um, he looking around and he's like, oh, okay. He was like, oh, so this what you wanted? This what I wanted, okay. And I was like, damn, not my nigga hating on my new car. That's hella weird. Like, and that's the other thing, too. You be dating guys. Like, guys be intimidated when you got money. I've actually had niggas try to talk to me because they thought I had money. I mean, I got a little change on me, but you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas trying to use me like I'm a trick. Like, nigga, never. So it's like, when you become successful or you get any type of achievements in life, people that you think what supports you and love you and just be as happy as you are are not gonna be fucking happy about where you are because it makes them feel like they ain't shit because they comparing themselves to you it's like a constant competition but if you really love me and you really fuck with me it should never be a competition like you should be just as happy as i am because when you accomplish shit i'm gonna be as i'm gonna be happy like that shit happened to me a lot of people want to get money a lot of people want to be successful whatever you want to accomplish whatever career goals it is that you have when you when you get there you are going to have to celebrate by your fucking self and it's the reason why they say it's lonely at the top because it is it's fucking lonely at the top and a lot of people just that you thought were going to be there are just going to like switch up on you oh my god look at this beautiful poodle but yeah, I'm just letting y'all know. So for everybody out there, and some of y'all feel me on this shit. I know somebody out there feel me on this shit. You got a cousin, a best friend, a sister, a mother that is a fucking hater. Straight up. They don't want to see you win. They can't stand the shit. They bad mouthing you to whoever they can. That's why you need to keep your business to yourself. Stop sharing everything with everybody. Because one thing that women do is when we have some drama or some tea in our life, we can't wait to share it with the homegirl. We can't wait to share it with our sister, whoever you close with, or your man. And let you motherfuckers fall out. Oh, girl, everybody and their mama gonna know your tea. Or maybe y'all ain't even got a... Oh, my God, he about to... You better back your Tesla up. They finna hit your Tesla, girl. The other thing that I wanted to say that I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all already knew is that, like, when it do come to support, the people that are gonna support you are gonna be complete strangers that you don't know. You guys... Believe it or not, I get more love and support from y'all, people that are complete strangers that I don't even know, 
than I do from people that I know. You know, because people that I know, I feel like are threatened by my presence, like just my essence. You know what I mean? That's why I feel like certain people don't be trying to invite me to shit or they leave me out of shit on purpose or, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? What's up, man? Okay. Man, that should be pissing me off. Like, when people be coming out the side street full fucking speed, like, this ain't a main street. Real brief, though, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that, like, even when it comes to my YouTube channel, like, I, ha I feel so good about where I've gotten to, my progress. I just feel so amazing. Um... And honestly, you guys, I have accomplished so many amazing things on my YouTube channel. I make more money now than I ever had with any job. And I used to work in, uh, I used to do accounting, okay? I used to work in the finance department. So for me, it's like, damn, I went from doing that to doing this, you know? And I remember I had a boyfriend. This, this goes back to, you know, the relationships that you have with people that you love. You know, I had this boyfriend of mine before... Before I had started YouTube, this nigga did not want me to start a YouTube channel. He discouraged me from doing it and told me, why you want to do that? You just want to be seen. I'm something to fucking look at. I don't know about you, but I'm somebody that need to be seen. I don't I don't know what the fuck that means. But yeah, I did, I did want to be seen. And that's only because he was super jealous and insecure and he feared, you know, whatever comes with that. He probably thought I was going to be fucking with niggas and doing all kind of shit. You know, whatever he thought. I don't know what he thought. But the point was, if I would have listened to him, if I would have stayed with him um, and kept that energy around me, I wouldn't even be where I'm at right now. You feel me? What the fuck? You see what I'm talking about? I'm almost home. But anyway, um, but yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I be by myself. I ride dolo. And if you come around me, you have to be a confident motherfucker. You got to be on your shit. You got to have some kind of hustle because if not, you're going to be feeling away when I'm around. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel away when I get, when I get anything in life. You're going to feel away about it when I try to reach a new goal, when I'm telling you. And that's the other thing. Stop telling your dreams to people. Don't tell people what you want to do. If you want any kind of career, if you want to be a YouTuber, if you want to be a makeup artist, if you want to do nails, don't fucking tell people that you know that you want to do that shit because they will discourage you and tell you a million reasons why you can't do it, you shouldn't do it, why that's stupid or that's weird or why would you want to do that? You need to get a real job. I mean, you know what I mean? People are going to say all kind of things to discourage you from what your plan is. God gave you gifts. God gave you a vision. God gave, oh my God, somebody done ran into the damn, somebody ran into the gas thing. I'm surprised the damn gas station ain't blow up. But people be drunk or something. I don't know what be going on. But um, anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all because I feel like a lot of people out there want better for themselves. And if you have the wrong people around you, the wrong people in your ear, in your energy, don't you fucking come out here. Because I'm sick of y'all motherfuckers just driving out in front of me on random. I'm about to hit you down. But um, but yeah, a lot of people will try to discourage you from a tree. A lot of people will try to discourage you from achieving your dreams. And when you have achieved it, people gonna try to take credit for your shit. Try to tell you what they did for you, and the reason why you're there is because of them. Or they try to mooch off of you. All of a sudden, everybody your friend now. All of a sudden, everybody's so happy for you. All you know what I mean? But where was all this energy when it was just a dream? When it was just a thought? You know what I'm saying? People don't even support you until your shit already doing numbers. You feel me? But what people don't know is the underdog is always the winner. The underdogs be the dopest motherfuckers. That's why I don't trip on the fact that I don't get the amount of views that I get. Because I know that I'm I'm doing something that I love to do. I get support. I have to be appreciative. I have to be appreciative of the support that I do have instead of focusing on what I don't have. I'm doing great for myself. I'm able to buy anything I want. I can travel when I want to. I have complete freedom to live my everyday life as I want to do. I don't have to go and clock in and no job. I don't have to ask my boss, can I get some time off and only get like two weeks for an entire year? You know what I'm saying? To go on vacation or getting paid bi-weekly or any of that shit. When I work, if I work tonight, I can get paid tonight. If I work tomorrow, I can get paid tomorrow. I got a store that's making money all the time. People always ordering stuff, even when I'm not having my wig sales because I have other products in my store. So people are always buying that. I'm a hustler. I'm a always get it. I have other things that I've invested my money into now so that I can continuously have money coming in because 
YouTube, I think YouTube will be here for a while, but I think maybe it might elevate into something else or, you know, whatever. But, but the point is that the internet is always going to be there. And as long as you have an internet connection, you can make money. I don't care what it is that you do. You have access to thousands and millions of people on the internet, you know, that you can market yourself towards, whether that be on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, whatever platform it is, be seen. I want to be seen. I need people to see me. I need more people to see me so that I can continue to grow and become even better at what I do. I'm finna get out, take these packages upstairs, make me some coffee, answer some emails, and start my day. But um, I love you guys so much. I wish you guys much success. Happy holidays to everybody. <laughs>
Yeah, I just came from my friend party. It is too much shit going on. All these cars are here for him. It's so many fucking people up here. We in the Hollywood Hills, y'all can't see me because it's dark as hell. Oh my God, this is craziness. Okay, I made it back home. Y'all Y'all can see me now. That was a fucking mess. First of all, I'm not social. So shit like that is crazy. I did not know this nigga knew that many people. That's crazy. Like, you would have thought this nigga was a celebrity or something. I'm like, what the fuck is this Cardi B party? Like, goddamn. It was so many people, you guys. And the parking in the Hollywood Hills is insane. Because it just be like one lane and it's only one way to come down, one way to come up. Especially when it's cars parked on both sides. People was parked kind of weird. It was so hard. It was like, you know that little parking lot game where you got to move all the cars to get the cars out? That's how that shit was right now. That shit was insane. But I gave him his gift. I gave him a hug. That nigga was drunk as fuck. And it was so funny, y'all. When this nigga see me, he was like with his homeboy, like holding on him like this. And he all drunk as shit. He like, eh. <laughs> drunk as fuck. First of all, he's already an alcoholic. So that's number one. But it's his birthday, so he's super turned. When I, st I stand in front of him and I stare at him, I'm like, hi. He like, Damo, what's up, man? Oh my God, Damo. He give me a hug. Because I haven't seen him in literally like at least a I don't know, I've seen him in a long time. It's been a while. But he was like, oh my God, hi, Damo. But he was like, so drunk. He's like, hi, Damo. Oh my God. And I'm trying to give him his gift, girl. He like this, bang, bang, bang. He doing up his I'm trying to pull his arm down so I can give him the bag, girl. He's refusing. I'm super drunk. And they're gangbangers. So one of the hood songs came on, apparently. And this nigga and all his friends started going crazy. I was trying to give him his gift. He's just so belligerently drunk right now. But I'm going to hit him up tomorrow. I did not stay because... Girl, what the fuck I look like? I don't party and do that shit no more. That's just not for me. So I just took my clothes off right now. I'm about to take this makeup off and call it a freaking night. But <laughs> that was so crazy. Oh my God. I'm going to hit him up tomorrow and try to take him out to eat or something for his birthday. Because tomorrow is actually his actual birthday. Well, today is his birthday because it's 1 o'clock in the morning. It's 1.30 something right now. A.M. So anyway, I just got back to the house. I'm tired. And it was so funny. Like, first of all, I want to point, I got to give myself some, I got to give myself some little kudos real quick. Because when I got there, as soon as I'm walking in to the driveway to go up to the house, because he rented out like a big ass house in Hollywood Hills. So I'm walking in the driveway to go inside. These two girls are coming down. And instantly off the bat, they're like, oh my God, you're so pretty. Oh my God, and you smell good, girl. I'm like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like, I love when other girls compliment me. That is just everything. And then I got to the front door, the niggas is on me. The niggas is on me, like white rice. they like, God damn, you fine as fuck. They just start going crazy. Y'all know how niggas be. But I was more flattered that the girls was like, girl, you are so fine and you smell good. I'm like, ah. Period. So anyway, y'all, I'm finna get up out of here. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. This has been, this has been crazy. But yeah, happy birthday to the homie. And I'm out of there. I should have recorded when I got there so y'all can see the house. I was recording when I left, but y'all couldn't see shit. So I just turned that shit off. But um, I should have recorded when I got in there. But when I say I got in and out of there, I got in and the fuck out of there. It was too much going on, a bunch of game bangers throwing up they set and doing all that shit i'm like oh baby this ain't for me and plus it was just a lot of people like the parking situation was insane that's what i'm saying i'm like <clears throat> how does he know so many people and people was coming and leaving and go i'm like oh my god people was parked all down the hill around the corner down the street down the road or whatever it was so hard to get up out of there girl i'm gonna take this makeup off and go to bed because i am tired it's been a long week <laughs>